A long, long time ago, when the first elves reached the world of Alfheim, a heavenly and glorious power fell upon them. The holy goddess Maria, creator and guardian of nature, handed them four sacred unicorns. These ancient legendary beings brought purity and balance to the elves, turning them into immortals. This incredible, unimaginable power was passed on from one generation to the next, making every new life an immortal life. One night, the unicorns suddenly disappeared. It was thought to be witchcraft, and for the first time, the elves feared for their immortality as the divinity provided by the unicorns was gone. However, perhaps by a twist of fate, one of the unicorns survived. The fairies found him. He had been cursed and had broken horn. The elves, fearful of this curse, handed him over to a young elf who, according to the ancient scrolls, was the only one capable of restoring the power of the very last unicorn. Oh, that's awesome, Darf! Cool, man. It's pretty freaking cool. And this was how the pursuit of eternity began. Okay, uh, Vanaheim's Memorial, Makala's Temple. Makala's Temple was built in the Age of the Gods by King Oslav V. Back then, the lands of the north were constantly under attack from the giants that threatened um, the Midgard lands. There, was, was, there once was a gory battle in which King Oslav ran away towards the mountains of Fenderwar after witnessing the massacre of his army. Adrift, he found a colossal image of a desolate goddess. Alone and gravely injured, he got down on his knees in front of her and made a sacred promise. He asked for the Lord Giant's head in exchange for building a temple in tribute to the goddess. Two days went by and the king, thirsty for revenge, marched with his army towards Jotunheim, home of the giants, where he witnessed a true miracle. A large flaming sword came from the sky and cut down all the giants one by one until their master was the only one left. Their master had his head cut off in a single blow. After that day, the king honored his promise, building a temple and covering the goddess with leaves from Yggdrasil, hoping to keep her spirit alive. Legend says the origin of its name is the mystic forest of Mackenheim, where it's believed one can feel the presence of the god. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought for real you were receiving, like, uh... Earring aids and stuff. I was like, oh, cool. Okay, right away I can tell the graphics are okay. They're not great, but they're not, like, bad. What kind of stone is this? I've never seen this symbol before. They certainly do the job. Okay, same thing. The only thing I'm, I kind of uh, find interesting is the fact that the camera is locked. Like, I can't, I can't move the camera at all. Okay, so she says the same thing with every single rock. A stone wall engraved with some sort of tree. Oh. Cannot interact with the guy that's glowing. Oh, a unicorn. Hey, bro. No. Come on. Oh, okay. When I click on it, all it does is some noise. There's some kind of flask wrapped around these roots. Okay. So I can... I can wait at things. Makala, don't be afraid, Orion. Come closer. I am Makala, the guardian of these lands. I know why you are here. I can feel your pain. I know of your purity and your true love for this beautiful animal. Isn't it because of this animal that you are here? Granny. I conjure you in the name of all the gods who are spiritually born in the soul that dreams in the distant dark wilderness of space. Take the path of the light. Push away the black shadows that curse this realm so the Elder Oracle will awake. Only he can help you. Hey, Amarilla, what's up, buddy? March through the fallen woods of Vanaheim 
and fulfill your destiny. And when darkness afflicts you, use the light flask. Okay. And we got an achievement for that. Go cool, find the light. Don't waste your precious time. I got the light. Didn't I just get the light? Hold L1 next to the corrupted body to purify it from Mishcraft. Oh. Cool. Collect red crystal shards to buy new items and upgrade your weapons. Collect green crystal shards to recover some health. That body gave me two. Is that it? Oh! Look at that! Oh, shit. When this button appears next to an enemy, press it to instantly kill it. Wait, I can only lock temporarily? Oh, it's, it's, they wanted me to use R1, that's why. A tiny health herb. It partially restores health. No collision. But collision here, okay. Select the eating item and press to assign it to a quick slot. Game looks good. I will get you back on that. So far, um, I want to say that I'm unimpressed. But I see what they're going for. So hopefully, like, it's just because like, I'm in the tutorial area and stuff it just seems weird like if you want to like lock onto a target you have to press and keep pressed l l2 and r2 it seems what are these like uh, i mean one of them so you have to keep pressing it which oh there's a oh there's like a dodge thing okay Okay, then it's not it's not that bad. Okay, cool. I, th I thought it was no dodge or something. Fenselir. According to the ancient Edda scrolls, the woods were the source of balance between the Norse reigns. The woods of Vanaheim were guarded by the old lords of the forest, four legendary beings born from the Ur European ashes of Yggdrasil. Baldur, the god of justice and knowledge, ended the ensign to each one of them. They were then used to guard sacred places and invaluable artifacts forged by the dwarves of Nidavellir. For years there was peace in those luminous woods, but one day the darkness destroyed all that was beautiful and fertile, and on the day the lords of the woods suck succumbed, or succumbed to witchcraft, uh, only one of them did not. The survivor of an inexplicable tragedy. Many years went by, and balance only remained in one desolate area known as the Spirit's Woods. A place where the elders believe one can hear and feel the presence of higher forces. Rumor has it that the spirit of air, the goddess of healing, wanders around these woods, healing the deepest wounds of the cursed roots. S certainly interesting. Nope. The locked camera isn't the best choice, I feel like, for an action RPG. This feels very uh, Resident Evil-y. 
in a way. Know what I mean? This lake is very similar to those in Alfheim. The water looks magical. Okay. Maybe we have to do something with this later. I'm stuck there. I can't fight on this bridge, man. Okay, health seems to be coming back slowly. See what I mean when I say locked camera angle? Come on! Dude, I'm almost dead. Close. A plant to neutralize poison. Something is missing here. Varnish root used is a craft material. Okay, what about this? Why is this one shining? Why am I looting a spider leg? Like, am I, am I looting the leg as I'm fighting it? Like, the thing isn't dead yet, and I'm like, oh, a spider leg. Can use that. Oh, oops. Of Elros Alcarin. Is there a menu? Oh, a character? No. The menu is really cool. I, I like this idea of having like a map and everything else. Something tells me this is only the first chapter. I can't be the map of the entire place, right? We have 35 of something, but I don't know what to do with this. Complete the medallion to increase your health bar. Okay. There are levels. Oh. Come on. I was like, don't 
freaking like kill me. like uh stun him is that a checkpoint oh that's a save okay cool hey we got this we got this <coughs> apologies Woo! oh Freaking respawn, guys. Okay, well, we gotta be super careful here, cause every time I go into the camp and I come back, I think it'll respawn, which which is not good for me. Yeah, the fixed camera is is a bad idea. Oh, huh? That item is completely inaccessible. I, m I must be missing a skill or something. Yo. Hey, you, water. Oh, I mean, we just got the flask, so obviously that's where we're going. What about here? Is that a goblin? Oh, I can open this one. An outsider lost in this loathsome swamp. I'm happy that I found you, and I want to show you my goods. These are rare things that I found. Interested. You need to sell them for a special prize. You will need to buy something right now. Dude! You what? You They can spawn and then, like, ohm towards where I am? Bro, that is so rude. I'm busy. Okay, we leveled up. God knows what that does. What that does. I'm level two. It don't seem to do anything. A trunk tortoise. Okay. Can you please, like, can I buy a key? Oh. Oh, wow. There are 500. No way. Nope. However... Wait, how do I reach my... Oh, that's right. That's that's here. That's how I do it. Uh, I want to... Set to a fixed slot. Elros Alcarin scroll number one. Oh, great Maria. I'm a prisoner in this place. I cannot escape. I'm using this scroll to try to give me the answers as to what I have seen in this cursed land. How could anyone call it a miraculous place? All I have found so far is death loneliness and a darkness that seems endless i'm not sure whether this is real or not i found so many strange things i am questioning my sanity amongst all the terrible horrors i have faced 
There is one I need to talk about. I have found a colossal creature in a desolate forest. I confess, I did not have the courage to get close to it. There are many voices here, murmurs and whimpers that deeply affect me. I was afraid to follow the path, but there is a route not very far from it. There may be something hidden there. I am lost. My curiosity brought me here, and now I'm fighting to get out of this hellhole. Ironic, isn't it? If only I could go back in time. If only I could understand this world a bit better. I feel relieved at being able to write down these words, as writing is what has been keeping me alive. I will write whenever I can, if the gods will it so. What's happening right now? Oh. Odd. Uh, good, that's what I wanted to use. Perfect. Uh, right. I think up there is the water flask, is it? Key item, bag, craft materials. Okay, cool. So they're like... Um, they're like classified. Poison, at least, is temporary. That's a relief. Bit of a shell. Spider leg, mushroom, spider mushroom leg. Oh, that one I can open. Oh, it was a bunch of uh, skill points. Cool. The yellow magic roots blocking this path. Well, thank you. I could not have, I, I didn't know. There was no way for me to know. Not by looking at it, at least. Okay, the mobs are probably going to respawn here again. Probably right in my face. Is there anything here? No. Nope. They're not respawning. Cool. I'll, I'll take it. See, I knew we would need this later. I haven't even tried, like, approaching this. This man is blocked by magic. Thank you, game. Truly, I would have never figured it out. They're gonna respawn in my face, are they? No, oh, thank God. Show me what Bearded Bro does. Woman, I do not know if you are from Asgard, but if you came to rescue me, I want a worthy death. I want to meet my brothers in Valhalla and have the honor to serve my god. You're not Aesir. Ha. A Valkyrie. Who are you? What are you doing here? Answer me, woman. Let me be sure I'm facing a goddess. I am Orion from Alfheim, and I am no goddess. I know you're suffering, O oh warrior, but what can an elf do? So an elf, your voice is as sweet and pure as a Vanir's. If only I could touch you. Oh, if I could, I know I am dying. Oh, unknown woman, before I go to Aden, I want you to know something. This land is cursed, dark, and there is nothing here but death. I am Bjor, son of Bathor. And I've never breathed such evil air as this. I've been looking for a way out of this illusion for three days. However, all I have found is death. When my soldiers and I entered the woods, something non-human attacked us. Luckily, I survived, and perhaps by a twist of fate, I'm still here to tell you the story. 
I called upon the gods. Oh, how I called them. But even they, they are unaware of this godforsaken place. Or perhaps they have forgotten it. My time is over. I can hear the sound of Heimdall's trumpet echoing in my ears. But before that, I still have time to give you this. Take this. It may tell you something. Goddess fragment. Oh, it's a crafting material. Well, thanks, bro. Wait, what is that on the floor there? Is that another soldier? Dead? Ugh. Oh, I thought I was getting to play him. Because it's supposed to be two characters. So, so I assume maybe he was a secondary one. But I can tell you this. No, he isn't. He's like, save game? Question mark? I'm like, done that before. Like I literally just did a second ago. Oh, come on. Do you have a healer? That's a bit unfair now, is it? Oh, and he casts fireballs as well. Are you kidding me? Bro, I'm going after you. You suck. Not sure if stone or eggs. By Maria, what is this creature? The design is pretty cool. Hmm, an elf. I remember your people. Oh, how I remember. The elves used to walk around here with their bright light bringing peace to where they passed. Oh, but unfortunate those days are over and this forest no longer delights me. In another time, I was always beautiful and fertile. But look around you now. Everything is lost in the phantasmagoric essence of life. I remember those glorious days. Those days in which the gods and heroes walked through these lands seeking adventure and wisdom. Those were the days, but now I'm old and tired. Far too old to remember such stories. Go ahead and explore what's left of the realm of Vanaheim. But before you do, you're going to have to craft a few items in order to continue on your adventure. Allow me to help you. Choose an inevitable item to be crafting. Craft to craft an item, it's important to check the success rate and the materials needed. Okay. Oh, this is the emblem. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Thank you, bro. Thank you, tree human thing, bro. Okay, that system is pretty cool. Jotun Drear. Deep inside Vanaheim, there are places that not even the gods dare explore. Jotun Drear is an ancient and an 